Welcome back to Insight Builder channel. Large language model automators, Python experts and my dear friends. Custom tools and agents inside Langchain. Reading multiple vector stores in Langchain using tools and agents. If you are new to my channel, then I would suggest that take a look at this particular playlist where you will understand about the ecosystem of Langchain and the large language models in no time. We are going to deal with vector stores, not just with one single vector store. If you are new to this concept of vector stores, if you are new to the concept of embeddings, I have separate videos on that. Take a look at those. You will come up to speed in no time. We are going to work with the ways to have multiple files to be read inside the Langchain ecosystem and then allow the large language models to query it. We are going to see how to do this. In the next video, we will be seeing how to serialize these agents and also the tools also. In this video, we will only introduce the actual concept of using the tools and agents, custom tools and agents. The vector stores can be created as retrieval QA tools. That is one way of creating custom tools and those tools can be then used as a toolkit inside the agents. Another way is to create agent vector store itself and then use it as custom agent so both of things both of these things we will uh, understand in a moment but both of that methods will re require the vector store from your side as documents and we need to use them in the next step so you have to complete this you need to have the embedding function you can use open a embedding and then you need to have your text available with you and all this process I am not I will be showing it in the example in a moment but this is the introduction that you will need this is the custom tool setup so store 1 is created from uh, from the retrieval QA uh, class and we are going to use the doc search 1 as retriever and for store 2 we are going to use doc search 2 as retriever so this as retriever is the method that helps the retrieval QA chain and the LLM to work with the vector store. So we create two different stores, retrieval QA stores. And then we use them as tools inside the chain. So we say uh, we create a tool with proper function. So we create this function and we also create the description telling what is this particular, uh, this particular store is useful for. So when we create this, we can actually assign that to the tool and then the same way we create the second tool also and then we initialize the agent on the tools that we create. So this is first way of doing it. Okay. And then we run the query on the agent directly. The second way, initially when you look at this, right, it is in a do two different location inside the lang chain uh, documentation. So once you look at it together, then you, then you can compare it very easily, which one, whichever version is more. Uh, you know understandable for you you can use it uh, use that one the custom agent method is that we actually create kind of a information that we provide to the agents and then from that we create the custom agent actually what happens is we first of all create okay so here you saw that we create a tool here we create vector store info in the vector store info we are going to give the vector store directly okay here you see that we are not giving it as a retriever we are just giving the vector store so there is a difference you see that right here it is a retriever but here it is actual it's a vector store only and then in the same way we are giving store 2 also for uh, store 2 dot vector, vector store and then there is something called as vector store router toolkit so this is all already available inside Langchain. you don't need to program any of these classes it is already there you have to just use it and you will see that in the vector store info we are just giving the info the description the name of the vector store uh, name of the vector store and the uh, the vector store uh, object itself we are giving those information only but in vector store toolkit router toolkit we create a kind of a uh, chain so the same the way we created tools here here we are creating router toolkit okay and then we create uh, we use create underscore vector store underscore agent class and we use the router toolkit we use the llm and then create the agent executor so see at the end of the day you can use both the ways one of the what i feel what i feel more uh, comfortable is that i will feel more comfortable with this method of you know working 
suit your uh, ways you also experiment it and then you will understand uh, which one is suitable for you you need to do a lot of experimentation with both of these things here you can actually con uh, here you can control the chat instead of zero shot react description you can use chat zero shot react description and start chatting also if you want there is a benefit of this but in this case you are going to create a custom agent so this agent how you are going to use it also depends on your uh, your way but here you cannot control the uh, kind of a zero shot react description etc you cannot do that but there is actually one more way where you can actually create a zero shot agent but i have to still explore that let let me uh, do that in in the meanwhile you can also use this route that i already uh, you know understood so let us go to the practice immediately and uh, let us see th these things in action I hope that you like this content. Do leave a like and share it with others. Subscribe to my channel so that you will get uh, further updates on Langchain and as well as re big data related uh, Python uh, videos and also uh, tricks. Let us go to the browser right now. And uh, yeah, you can take a look at my other playlists available. Before we go to the actual uh, the collab notebook, I would I would like to show you a couple of uh, uh, points here. This is the repo GitHub repo that you can uh, get all the code. So inside the repo, we are going to use this particular. Uh, uh, we are going to use where is the vector? Just a minute, guys. Sorry. Yeah, just let me refresh it. Probably yeah. I think it is multi vector store. So this is the file that we'll be using multi vector store with OpenAI, and inside the OpenAI, we will be I'll be using this I'll be using this API data dot config. This file contains all my uh, API keys that is stored inside. I'll be using config parser. This file example is here API data underscore example dot conf. So this is how the file will look. So I will uh, this is a simple text file that has been created. There will not be any kind of uh, uh, double quotes here. Don't give any double quotes. Just give the numbers or the key values there, and then you can if you want to import using config parser. Uh, I am just you know giving you this information, but if you are uh, if you are uncomfortable using this, just remove this and directly paste your keys here. Okay, and uh, what will be okay? Sometimes what happens is when we are running in Google Collab Notebook, we get an error telling that uh, the UTF-8 uh, encoding is uh, not available. So when we get such an error, run this uh, set of code. Okay, I was getting this error when I was executing this particular uh, uh, series of uh, commands. I was trying to import uh, especially chroma db sentence uh, transformer etc I was getting the error then I found that you have to run this in the uh, collab notebook so I have uh, brought in chroma db I have brought in transformers hugging face hub and lang chain open AI. so all this uh, libraries I have installed using pip install this is the config parser that I have done and I am importing the various uh, required uh, uh, functions and classes so first and foremost i need the llm the open a llm i have already got it here and next i am going to immediately go into recursive character text splitter because i already have the files so i'll be working on vim underscore play dot text and space underscore short term dot csv all these files are already available just a minute let me actually delete this folder because I will be creating it again just a minute okay so anyway so only empty, empty directories can be deleted so I will uh, it will anyway uh, work if you go to this particular line chain exploration underscore exploration you will find this uh, this file space underscore shortened and also you will find the uh, vim dot text okay i will update the vim dot text also here yeah vim dot text is missing here but i will update the vim dot text in uh, before you guys can see that so i'll be using those two files and i will be sending it through the recursive characters and creating the documents and then i am using the open embeddings and creating the embeddings here and creating the uh, the vector store database in space directory so this is what you see here the space underscore db and uh, lin underscore db this are the already i have created it because i wanted to save uh, save the embedding uh, calls to the open ai so i have already created it and i have kept it here 
so you can see that uh, th these are all regular activities that you are doing I have created for uh, the uh, LinkedIn also. You can see that I am actually importing the file as simple uh, uh, text file in in Python. I am not uh, using any any of the LangChain loaders here. It is it is a direct text file loading using open function in Python. Then I am creating the tools here. So what I am doing, I have the uh, space retriever and I have the lint retriever. These are retrieval. So this retrieval QA, I get it from the uh, Langchain uh, library. If you go up here, you see that I am uh, uh, bringing the retrieval QA class from the chains. And I am using that retrieval QA and I am creating the using the OpenAI LLM using the chain type stuff you can play with this but i wouldn't suggest to change this from stuff as of now keep uh, keep this only uh, you can also work with map rerun map uh, reduce and uh, another one option is the summarize i suppose i forgot the option you can use that also and uh, i'm using the lin chroma this is the chroma db uh, class subject uh, object that i am using as retriever here you see that and i am creating the tools chain here so i am telling clearly that the name is spacefarers and the command is linux command here for each of the retriever and i am also telling when you should use uh, when you should use the space uh, uh, farer uh, retriever and when you need to use linux command retriever using this description so that is the point of using zero shot react description if you have seen my earlier videos i have discussed the same kind of concept for python functions in uh, we can use python functions also here in, here we are using uh, retrieval uh, qa what is this called uh, we are using the retrieval qa objects the lint retriever and space retriever let us take a look at this if you take a look at the type right see at, at the end of the day if you understand uh, the objects and their uh, uh, methods that is associ associated with objects right you will understand a lot of things so you will see that this is actually a retrieval qa object so I am using the retrieval QA object inside the tools. So this is allowed as per the line chain, uh, uh, the way it has been programmed, this is allowed. And instead of retrieval QA object, you can use tools object also. And you can use the run command here. So there are two options that you can use. Anyway, that's a separate uh, topic. I have already covered it in a separate video. I will link it in, the, in this description. You can take a look at that. After you've done that, I am initiating the tools. In this, I am telling, okay, it's zero shot react description. So the agent will look at the description. So this description it will look, and the LLM will call the appropriate retriever when we call. Okay. So now I am already executing this, and I am going to run. How many space farers are there? This is the question I am going to ask this example agent. Okay. So I will execute this. So this will actually start the. Uh, start the question and it will immediately find out so where i need to che uh, check so it will it will immediately say okay i need to look at the space farers so because i'm asking about space faring right so here it is saying that it is uh, it is unable to provide the data but it started the actual uh, uh, you know checking in the space farers uh, vector store okay but uh, the point is that how we are going to how the data is inside that is not very reliable so it actually came out the reason is that it's the reason it came out is when we are actually going to give the zero shot react description this zero shot react description has its own uh, prompt that has been fixed so if the if my uh, question if my uh, if my document is not matching that uh, prompt it will not work at all so let us try uh, let us try a different uh, take right now so i am going to ask and also keep in mind that every time this is going to come every time this is going to call the uh, call the space farers action it is going to connect with the open ai uh, as prompts so keep this in mind when you are discussing so your data is actually going to open ai and it is going to come back uh, also always keep uh, keep that in mind so when you are going to call uh, call it multiple times your tokens will get used so you can try it with other options here you can ask uh, can you tell me about uh, can you tell me about win command so it will go uh, it, can you tell me about linux command it will actually go to linux you can actually try this out okay and this is an example that we can try it out next this is one of the ways 
the other way is that you uh, as i told you you can uh, you can create the vector store info vector uh, store router toolkit and then you can create router agent also so this is another way of using through the agents and then you you follow the same thing only thing is you don't use a retriever here we are directly using the vector stores in the vector store info and then we create the uh, router toolkit here and then we create the uh, agent here and we can execute the agent here so i am asking in this also i am asking how many space errors are there and i am going to execute the query and it will start executing the process again so sometimes it will see that it is trying to find it is going out of the uh, it is going out of our uh, scope also because the llm takes control okay the llm starts taking control you see that if it is not able to find the details inside my tools what it will do is it will start searching outside so the llm will take control of it so if it goes out of the control you need to cut the uh, search also okay the point what i am trying to make is that all this agent so whichever agent you are uh, creating you can actually save it so if you actually execute agent executor dot save this will create the uh, wait uh, yeah it is it will actually create the serialized version of the agent also so if you see this you you will actually you can uh, share this with others also once you create this so here you can see all the Uh, all the setup it has actually executed so uh, the type of uh, reaction uh, type of agent it has used the tools it has used and uh, the pro the entire uh, chain it has created all these things the prompt it has the template prompt it has used you can see all of these things here okay so you can work uh, by serializing this ag agent also so as i was explaining let us go to the browser uh, moment uh, browser for a moment i told that we can actually serialize also right we can understand how to serialize these agents so you can serialize like this also let us go back to the browser once again and uh, then so we understood how to serialize the agent and you can come here and you can actually serialize yeah you can try to serialize this agent also so if you you can try to serialize this agent also if you say example underscore agent dot save we can say retriever agent retriever agent dot json i think it will work if yeah it, it actually fails so i think uh, from this process we cannot actually save it as uh, agent so yeah saving is not supported for agent executors you are trying to save the agent please use save agent so i think it is not uh, acceptable in this route so we can actually save the chains but it is not allowing to save the agents actually so yeah if you want to save it you can use the actual uh, this this route so uh, I, i have not experimented that but now i experimented it so you can use agent executor and you can save it so this is a good option that you have also got and you can serialize the objects completely so with this guys i wanted to uh, you know uh, primarily discuss this point uh, reading multiple vector stores in langchain you can experiment with it uh, with your embeddings with your texts and also especially with the description guys the major uh, point uh, that uh, changes everything is the description how you provide okay please provide the description properly yeah, uh, i wanted to show you something here since we were discussing about the agents i wanted to go to the uh, i want to go to langchain hub so just give me a moment we are in uh, langchain hub the uh, the github repo that maintains all the agents chains and also the prompts you can take a look at these things if you go into these agents right you can see the various agents that has been created so zero shot uh, react uh, description conversation self ask with search so click on any of these things inside you will actually find the agent dot json like the way we created right now so you see this this is how it is the way uh, let us go back to our uh, so the multi doc agent that we created so this agent and so this is the same process that uh, this is how you create the json that you see here okay so the point here is how we create the prompt okay agents are mainly prompts 
how you create it uh, how you write those prompts still matter so here is a template that we are following and you see the input variable the agent scratch pad if you have seen the earlier videos i have discussed about these things also and all these things get serialized and you can keep it as a file and you can share it with anybody and uh, this is the process that is getting followed and the type is given at the bottom and you can also share it so the point here is that why i am showing langchub uh, langchain hub is that once you create a proper agent you can create a readme along with that and you can share it in this hub and it will be reviewed by the uh, the uh, pr uh, moderators and then it will be uh, accepted here so you can do that also you can also create prompt templates you can also create chains even chains you can uh, even chains you can uh, do serialization you can just check it out it's very simple you have to just say if you go to uh, if you go to lang chain right if you go to chains and if you go to seri yeah serialization if you click on this option you will see how to serialize the uh, serialize the chains also it's it's as simple as you know giving save uh, llm chain dot save and the way i saved the agent right moment ago you use the same pro, uh, same format and uh, it will actually write out everything so this is uh, something that i wanted to also share it with you guys and if you guys are okay one wondering from where the map pre rank map pre reduce everything is coming then uh, this is the place where it is coming so if you go to agents uh, i not in agents one minute i think it is inside uh, one minute i think it is inside the chains actually because i was uh, researching all these options the other day inside summarize chain you will see this so you will see stuff so the stuff chain that you are using where is it so if you go to the if you go to uh, let me scroll a bit up and uh, yeah this chain type stuff so this is called from here chain dot json if you go into this you will see okay write a concise summary so if you understand if you are wondering okay where the summary is coming for this stuff it is actually coming from here and it is using text dot see it is using the max tokens of 256 so you can get all the details and in case if you want to use a different chain and if you want to load it feel free you can try that also I am I am also experimenting those those things right now. Instead of giving stuff, how to give a different chain type? I am also exploring that. If you guys have some uh, idea about that, do you know? Let me know, and I will also explore in that route. The reason uh, the reason I am again insisting all this uh, serialization process and deserialization process is that we can all uh, you know share the knowledge with each other very fast. And we can develop new tools and new agents at a rapid rate. And we can update in the launch chain hub, and we can uh, we can make new products. So that is the you know intention of uh, providing you all the background uh, details. And uh, with this, guys, I hope that you uh, uh, like the content and uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, so that you will get further updates on launch chain. And most important point is that uh, explore apart from launch chain also. There are uh, I am actually thinking about uh, working. Uh, one of the major point uh, that i see here is that all the chains are using right now only open ai uh, only open ai la uh, large language models it's not using any of the uh, open source models so i am experimenting with this still i have i can actually create these things uh, directly also by using couple of options i have got i will try that out and if you have uh, any new idea or if you have a good llm which uh, we can actually try it out and create agents uh, let us let us work on that guys that is very important also uh, uh, thinking in this way is also uh, makes a lot of uh, sense to us so with this i would like to conclude this uh, video and uh, do uh, you know practice that's uh, the most important point uh, i uh, i wanted to reiterate because looking at it even you saw that i was having a lot of errors because i had i wanted to show you the actual uh, uh, process that it goes because if everything is perfect then <laughs> then actually it's not real so you have to see uh, the things in uh, things in such a way that uh, uh, you have to improve it and also uh, one more point that i wanted to add is that all this concept of you know working with custom agent custom tool is uh, are solutions for a problem okay we started with the problem right we wanted to read documents multiple documents and then I started searching for the solution in say Langchain library. Okay, that is how I came across these two methods. So if you look at it, there are there is a one problem. We want to read multiple uh, files into vector store, and the solution is custom agent and custom tool. 
so this is how i actually think about the libraries python libraries this has helped me a lot when it comes to finding right uh, classes right functions or methods and also the right algorithms or uh, uh, the uh, heuristics to solve a problem so uh, uh, i hope that uh, this way of uh, thinking will help you also so uh, do use that and you know uh, have a great time guys till the next video stay tuned i'll be working on uh, open source uh, uh, large language models and you know uh, try it out i will share it uh, share it out there and uh, let us see uh, how this goes and with this guys i would like to uh, close this uh, video and do subscribe to my channel thanks guys thanks a lot